Hi guys, it's Chachi. Let's just go ahead and jump right into this video. I'm going to grab my Miggle Magnesia because I needed to prep my oily skin. And I'm just pressing it into my skin with my cosmetic wedges that I picked up at Ulta, but I'm sure you can find them anywhere. Next, I'm grabbing my NYX Eyebrow Powder Pencil in Espresso and I'm brushing my eyebrows upwards so that I can go ahead and align them with my pencil to make them a little more thicker, a little more pronounced, a little more solid, you know. And when you do your brows, you want to continuously be brushing through them with the spoolie to make sure that they're nice and blended. And when you go ahead and do the same thing at the top part, just try to make sure that that line is as straight as possible because we don't conceal the top of our brows anymore. We left that in 2017, girls. Here, I'm just lightly filling in the rest of my brows and when I get to the front part, I'm stroking it upwards. Now I'm just grabbing my Graftobian Cosmetics Warm Palette and I'm grabbing my Morphe E48 I believe brush to line the bottom of my brows but I'll make sure in the description box below. I'm not sure how I got this brush I just know it's a dupe for one of the MAC brushes that are supposedly a holy grail for a lot of the beauty gurus that I follow but I think Jesus himself just placed it on my dresser because he knew that I needed it and I'm very appreciative so if you don't have this brush definitely go pick it up since like yesterday after you've shaped your eyebrows with your concealer and it's to your liking you can go ahead and start dragging the concealer down to the oh it's a little crooked sis it's a little crooked <laughs> but no seriously when you're done um lining your brows with the concealer go ahead and drag the excess concealer to the rest of your eyelids this brush that i'm using as my fake microphone right now is from a company called royal and lang nickel i think it's pronounced and i got it from a makeup convention so i i don't know where to order them from but i love this brush and it's perfect for smoothing out that concealer and making sure it's nice and blended underneath the brows Again, blend your eyebrows or else you're just going to look like you have two caterpillars on your forehead. Check them out. Make sure they're right. And your eyebrows are not meant to be identical twins. Fraternal may be definitely sisters though. Okay, don't stop until they look related. And I got my handy dandy Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm grabbing this fluffy brush from Morphe that I don't know the number to and I'm literally just pressing that um, translucent powder into the concealer under my brows. We don't want this to move. We do not want to look like greasy chicken. So make sure that you're putting enough but don't overdose. Now I'm just grabbing my handy dandy Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation that Sis Aaliyah J put me on to so long ago. It's in the color Toffee and I'm also using this buffing brush that I got from a set from BH Cosmetics. And I'm using circular motions to work that foundation into my skin. I don't want to use too much foundation because I don't want to look like the cake at the party and neither do you. Just make sure that you're getting that coverage that you want, but you definitely don't have to overdose with the foundation. And yeah, just watch me work the rest of this foundation into my skin. Hold on, wait, I actually do have more to say. There is a way to layer foundation without looking cakey. I just don't want to do it. And plus, this is supposed to be like a natural, natural date night makeup look anyway. So we're not doing that. Oh, sus, get that neck. <laughs> get the neck sus don't forget the neck i've got my scandinavia makeup finishing spray and bright oil and i'm just spraying my beauty blender to make sure that my foundation is nice and smooth and of course blended because we're always blended over here I'm going to go ahead and highlight with my LA Girl Concealer in the color Medium Beige. And of course, before I blend it out with my Beauty Blender, I sprayed it with my Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And a trick that I learned about this concealer is that if you just let it sit a bit, it will definitely give you more of a full coverage look. I actually picked that up from a makeup artist. I love her called um, It's Hot Chick on Instagram. And she her little technique definitely worked because I tried it and this concealer definitely looks more full coverage if you just let it sit for a little bit and get um, dry
now that I have all the liquid products on my face I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm starting with that Laura Mercier translucent powder that we used in the beginning to um, set our brows and I'm literally pressing that into my skin everywhere where I put that concealer initially and I'm using a fluffy brush to do this sometimes I bake after I press into my skin but sometimes I don't and today I am NOT um, it really doesn't make a difference to me. It's really just an option. You do you, boo. You do you. We're placing the translucent powder everywhere. We put the concealer, our forehead, our nose, under our nose, all that. Okay, so clearly I love this Black Radiance Contour Palette in medium because my highlighter color is gone and my sculpting color has hit pen. But I'm going to bronze not so much contour by making the fish face and working this angle brush in the hollows of my cheekbones and my forehead. You can always build up more product, but I start off with just a little bit. I really thought that I filmed me cutting my cheeks, but I cannot find a video. But anyways, I have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the color Dark. And I'm using that to sweep away the translucent powder that I used to cut my cheeks. And I'm also going to go ahead and use circular motions to push up into my contour so that it looks more seamless. And I'm using the same color to set my entire face, basically. Using the same MAC Mineralized Powder, I'm using my small tapered brush from e.l.f. and I'm pressing that powder into my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and then I'm going to start sweeping it away. But remember darling, sweep away ever so lightly. A lot of times during the makeup process, I blend my face and I just use the same brush that I use to set my powder. And I literally just blend everything together. No lines, no creases. We want to look perfect. I got this blush palette from the makeup club and it's called Kara, I think. And when you blush, you just want to smile and put that color on the apples of your cheeks just to put color back in your face. And sometimes I like to even put it over my contour on my forehead just to make sure that I have a nice consistency of color in my face after I went ahead and highlighted with that concealer. Oh my god, it's my favorite part. I love some good love. So I go ahead and wet my blending brush with my Scandinavia Finishing Spray. And I grab my ABH Glow Kit. And I usually go in with the gold color because as you can see, it's almost gone. But I guess I want it to be different today. But the color wasn't popping enough for me. So I still went ahead and put my gold color on top of this. And um, I overdosed on the glow because I love to glow, darling. I love to glow. But well, if you ever want to mute your glow a little bit, you just go ahead and run your face powder over it in circular motions. But I love to glow. And I put some more. But yeah, now I'm contouring my nose. And when you highlight with the beauty blender like I did earlier, you can kind of see already where to place this contour color. You go up and down on your nose and you bring it under your eyebrows. You make sure you mix the sides of your nose and in between your nostrils as well. This glow on my nose, honey, had me looking like a trophy. And that's cute to an extent, but come on now. So I did what I just told you guys to do if you ever run into this. And you put your powder over it. And that'll definitely mute it a little bit for you. It is time to do our lashes. And I am just putting this glue on it with some little thin brush that I definitely don't know the name of. And I'm using the lashes that I actually sell from House of Vane. And they're in Sakai. And I take tweezers and I place them in the middle of my eyelash and I'm sorry that I was blocking the view. But I literally place this right on top in the middle of my lash line, right on top of my lashes. And I take each edge and I make sure that I'm pushing it up into my skin to make sure that it is sticking to my eyelid basically. Um, after that I take my tweezers and I press the false lashes with my real lashes to make sure that these things are on and that oh I got excited and that when I go outside I don't look like I am flying away with the birds in the sky 
just make sure your lashes are on press them into your lashes and yeah at first it may be kind of difficult but practice makes perfect and I think I'm so cute right now <laughs> but yeah I'm just adjusting my lashes some more making sure that like I said they don't move and boom we have our lashes on and if you want to purchase any one of my styles just hit me up on my Instagram at House of Vane and we'll make that happen for you sus how are you guys liking this look so far cute 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 but anyways it's time for our lips I have my NYX lip liner in nude truffle it's like this pinkish nudish color I love nudish pinkish lips especially when I'm doing this natural date night look because on date night I don't really go on dates well let me not lie I don't go on dates period but if I were to go on dates I would definitely wear this look like a natural look that's just pretty and cute but not too much but we're lining our lips and definitely make sure that after you line your lips that you're mixing your liner in together with the top and the bottom Ugh, I love lip gloss. I'm definitely a lip gloss kind of girl. This is my MAC lip gloss in Snob. And if this was the only lip gloss on earth, I would be fine because this stuff is so good. I love it. And we are basically done. We're just going ahead and setting that face again. Because remember I told you guys, you find yourself blending your whole face. So this is how you do it. You grab your face powder and you make sure that everything is right, honey. Insert dramatic face spray down moment here and you guys know this is my Scandinavia makeup finishing spray that I love so much This is the final look guys. This is my first video on YouTube, and I'm so excited Thank you all so much for your support. I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned something like comment and subscribe and let me know what else you want to say from me because I'll definitely be back <laughs> Thank you so much guys. Bye